There's a passage in the canon where a yaka comes to see the Buddha and says that as long as you're mindful, you're protecting yourself from all kinds of dangers. And the Buddha said, basically, it's not the case. You need mindfulness, but you also need goodwill. Goodwill for all the beings of the world. That's a protection, too. If you simply have mindfulness, but it, without the goodwill it gets dry. And the goodwill is what gives your mindfulness the strength it needs in order to do, to remind you of what's good to do, and you can carry through with that as well. Because it's one thing to be mindful, i.e. to keep something in mind. It's something else to actually act on it. If you know that it's good, but if you don't have the strength and if you don't have the motivation, it's hard to do what's skillful, even when you can remember what's skillful and you know what's skillful. So it's good to develop good, goodwill, compassion, thinking of all the suffering people in the world, and how much all the, the strife in the world comes from the fact that people are suffering. Of course, the strife causes more suffering. It just goes around and around and around like that. And you've got to feel sorry for the people who are tied up in that. You want to get out, but at the same time you have to have compassion for the people who seem tied up. And having compassion for yourself means that you want to get out, too. But when you have goodwill and compassion, that helps to guarantee that in your efforts to get out you act skillfully. Because if you act unskillfully in your efforts to get out, you get pulled, you get pulled right back in. So have some compassion for all the suffering beings of the world, yourself included, but remember everybody else around you here. The only people who are not suffering right now are arahants, which means that the vast majority of the world is being driven by suffering. And you have to have some compassion on the, all the mistakes on people, or all the mistakes they make under the force of suffering. And that way you protect yourself and you protect others. As the Buddha said, when you're Developing mindfulness, you're protecting yourself directly, but it's also protecting others. When you're developing goodwill, you're working for the good of others, but it's also for your own good. These qualities work together. So make sure that you practice them together so they can be strong.